Hi everyone, welcome to it's over 16. On our two last lesson, I'm going to show you how we are going to find the solution of this equations and inequality. First of all, how we are going to determine the solution of this problem. So, to find the solution of this equation and inequality, let's look how we are going to do this one. So, if you are a new member of my YouTube channel, don't forget to share, like and subscribe it's Roma 16. Well, now let me explain how to do this problem. Is that? So, let me just start from the first question. In order to find the solution of this problem, you know that the modulus of x squared minus 9 minus modulus of x plus 3, which is going to be 0. How could you solve this one? You know, this is the symbol of absolute value. Is that? This is symbol of absolute value. How could you find the solution of this equation? See that? So, if you look this problem, it seems to be just more complex, but it is very simple. Is that? If you are technical and very wide, how to do this problem? It is simple. Look, first of all, you have to know the very important properties of modulus or absolute value. Modulus or an absolute value. Look how we are going to describe this one. Before that, what this in general mean? This is given as the square of the difference of two square. Is that? You know what the difference of two square mean? For example, a square minus b square is given by a minus b into a plus b. Is that? We call this the difference of two square. These and these are the same. Is that? That means what's the square of the first a? What's the side minus? What's the square of this b? Then what you call this one? Now this times a plus b. Simply have to change the sign of this one. Is that? So we call this is a product. This is the difference of two squares. Is that we have this one? So because of this principle, this is given by modulus of x squared minus 3 squared minus modulus of x plus 3, which is equal to 0. Is that? Which is equal to 0. And that is given by 0. Then what is this mean? You know that? This is the modulus of x minus 3 into x plus 3 under modulus this is equal to x plus 3 we have this one, is that? so here look in the case of this problem you know this mean this one, is that? so once you already understand this one how we are going to split this from this symbol of absolute value to remove this, I mean to split this one, you have to remember this, this rule of absolute value. That means the absolute value of AB or the modulus of AB means is written as modulus of A times modulus of B. That this is written this way. That's the same. There are many properties. That there are many properties of this one. But here, this is enough. That for example, if you look this one. The modulus of a plus b is less or equal to the modulus of a plus the modulus of b. That this is triangular inequality. That triangular inequality, absolute value of modulus inequality. We call that triangular, but this is not important. There is some other also, but the very important point here is this one. So because of this, this is the reason as this is the reason why x minus three times modulus of x plus 3 which is equal to modulus of x plus 3 you know you can divide both sides when we divide this both side x plus 3 under modulus under symbol of absolute value x plus 3 is written this way that and finally this will be given as we left only x minus 3 here because this is cancelled by this one and this is cancelled by this one which is perfectly one then how could you solve this one to solve this problem, let's come back again here to solve this one. The modulus of x minus 3, that is 1. How can we find the solution of this problem? In order to find the solution of this one, you have to remember two very important, two very important uh, uh, roles, cases. That. So, in order to apply the two algebraic cases, first of all, we need to define what this means. That, you know the definition of modulus of x minus 3, this is defined as generally x minus 3, 
this is possible if this value is always positive. That means if x minus 3 positive or 0, yeah? So we will solve all minus of x minus 3, yeah? It will be negative if this x minus 3 is less than 0. So now when we simplify this formula, you can have x minus 3, or oh, minus of x minus 3. This is possible for x greater than 3, and this is for x less than 3. So now we have two cases. In the first case, as I have already defined here, in the first case, now what are we going to have? Now we have these cases. So let me say case one. Case one mean case one will be x greater or equal to three. For x greater or equal to three, the modulus of this is equal to one will be x minus three, which is one. Because it's not it, because this value is positive, if it is positive, it's no need to insert this with this symbol. Is that? So this is given by x equal to 3 plus 1 will be, when you move this on the right, this will be 4. Is that? The one value for x is this one. And the other value for x will be 1. For since 4 is greater than this one, since 4 is greater than or equal to 3, since this is greater than this one, it can be a solution. For the second case, case 2, for x less than 3, what should be the solution? Minus of x minus 3, which is going to be 1. And when you multiply both sides by negative, x minus 3 will be negative 1. When you move this on the right, x will be negative 1 plus 2. I mean, 3, then x will be 2. Yeah? Since again, 2 is less than 3, now the solution state for this problem will be finally. Can say therefore solution states are that is which is to end for will be solution of this equation. Yeah? This is how we are going to solve this kind of problem. Yeah? Well, now let's see, let me explain how to do the second problem. Let's do how to solve the second problem. For the second problem, you have already given this one. Yeah? How we are going to solve this inequality? X square plus one. Over x minus 1. This is x square plus 1 over x minus 1 less than 0. Look, when we say, look this case, for example, if we have two real number a and b, for example, if we have two real number a and b, when we say a over b is less than 0, that means this is possible if both this one and this one, that means this is possible. If a positive and b should be negative. Is that because the patient of positive and negative will be negative, so that will be less than zero. But if a over b less than zero for the second case, if a is less than zero and b is greater than zero, that means both a and b should have opposite sign. These values will be less than this one. Is that? Generally, for any two, for any two, for this algebraic expression for a and b, the quotient of this will be negative. If and only if this part and this part, the numerator and the denominator should have opposite sign. Is that should have opposite sign. So because of this principle, how we solve this one? Since look this one, since x squared plus one is always greater than zero for all x the element of real number. Is that since the numerator x plus one is absolutely positive, even not zero, yeah? since x squared plus 1 is greater than zero for any real number x, for all x, this is always for all x, yeah? for all x the element of real number, this is positive, so if this is positive, this equation to be less than zero, this must be what? This must be negative. So now this implies that, this implies that, this implies that, where x squared plus 1 is x squared plus 1 is always less than 0 and then an x minus 1 is immediately should be less than 0. Because this is always positive, this is negative, the equation will be negative, that will be less than 0. So now this is x squared plus 1 less than 0. This is always positive. The solution for this is going to be what? And then I have to that. Because you can take any real number in place of x and it is always positive. That 
and this is always positive. So solution will be remembered. The solution set for this part is solution set is gonna be remembered. And what's the solution for this one? Solution for this is x less than one. Yeah? But we need we need to take the intersection of this. Yeah? Because this enemy intersection of this solution and this solution. So this is the real number, real number means that contains any any real number. That you know it contains rational, irrational. Is that? But x less than one means it is restricted. So the intersection of this would be what? This one. So generally the solution set should be what? X and that. X is less than one. Is that? That means every x which is less than one will satisfy this formula. Is that? Except, for example, if you take any value which is greater than this one, this never be the zero. For example, you can take two. Two minus one is always one. And if you plug here two square plus one, that's gonna be five. Five never be zero. Is that? So this problem to be true, x value of the solution of this problem will be x less than one. Is that? So this is all about our solution. Again, if you have any question, comment regarding to this one and others. So please welcome, please welcome, please try to share, like, and subscribe. S one sixty. Thank you for watching. Bye.